A significant outbreak of severe storms is underway across Central Europe, which I talked about in yesterday's urgent update. By the time you're watching this video, the radar information is going to be outdated, but this is what the radar looked like roughly between 4 and 5 p.m. local time. A line of severe storms explosively developed roughly from northern Austria up into the Berlin metro area, with the highest concentration of extremely severe storms over Czechia. As the situation unfolded over the course of the afternoon, there are a couple things that I needed to adjust in my severe weather outlook, so here are the highlights. I expanded the level 1 and 2 risk areas further west into Germany and France, where a lower end severe threat is ongoing closer to the center of low pressure. I also expanded the severe threat further north, with a westward reduction in the threat especially over Poland. The rare level 4 risk that I introduced for Czechia yesterday remains in place, but I did adjust it further north to account for those storms between Berlin and Dresden. Very large to potentially giant hail is occurring in this area, and will remain a threat this evening. I also wanted to emphasize the rainfall threat coming with these storms. Anywhere in the green shade should be aware of the possibility of locally heavy rainfall leading to some isolated to scattered flood concerns, with the yellow shade representing a heightened risk. Now moving on to Saturday, June 22nd, this is why I wanted to make this video. Confidence has increased that we're going to see another high-end outbreak of severe storms, so I have introduced another level 4 risk, this time extending from Croatia and Serbia up into extreme southwestern Ukraine. The atmosphere will be extremely unstable, much like today, so multiple instances of very large to giant hailstones are expected. If you live within the risk areas that I've highlighted, especially the level 3 and 4 risks, definitely make sure you pay extra attention to the weather. As far as the flood risk goes, I think southern Sweden and northern Poland will have some rounds of heavy rainfall, so I added a level 2. For everyone else in the green shade, especially where it coincides with the severe weather risk, flooding will be a concern on a more localized scale. I hope you found this video helpful and informative, and if you're interested in weather forecasts for the entirety of Europe, with frequent shorter videos like this one covering significant weather events, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.